Hey YouTube, it's Quinton here and welcome to my very first tutorial on Joomla and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Joomla on your local host and over the next couple of videos we're actually going to take a look at how to use Joomla and also we're going to learn what Joomla is capable of doing. So first of all, what is Joomla? Joomla is one of the most popular CMS's in the world and CMS stands for Content Management System. This means that we as developers can build this really super awesome website and then go ahead and sell it to a client and they can easily update content on their website with very little knowledge of HTML. In fact, the client probably won't need to learn HTML at all and they will still be able to update content on their website. So as a result, if you want to get a job anywhere as a developer, you'll notice that Joomla is almost always going to be one of the requirements. And that's actually why I decided to make this tutorial series. I really thought it would be great to equip you guys with the skills that you need to get a job as a developer. Okay, so my next thing I want to talk about is why would we use Joomla? Now, other than the fact that it's really easy for clients... Wow, this phone's going crazy. <laughs> Let me just get rid of it. Okay, I threw it across the room. Now, uh, where were we? Okay, so why would we use Joomla? Other than the fact that it's really easy for clients to update their websites themselves after sales, Joomla also has a bunch of really cool tools that can make our lives as developers much, much easier. And this allows us to do our job a lot faster. So uh, now let's talk about what you need to follow along with the series. And the first thing you're going to need is a good browser. I'm going to use Firefox, but if you guys want to use Chrome, then that's perfectly okay with me. Chrome is going to work just fine. Okay, then you're going to need a good text editor. And as always, I'm going to use Notepad++. That is my trusty text editor. I love it. I love to use it. But if you are on a Mac, then you can't use uh, Notepad++. So I recommend that you switch over to Sublime Text. And I'm going to leave some links in the description below so you can check those out. Okay. Now, since I'm going to install Joomla on my local host, I also need to install some sort of Apache and PHP software. Now, for my tutorials, I'm going to be using XAMPP, and I'm going to leave a link to this in the description below, and I'll also give you a quick run through of what you need to do to install XAMPP later on in this video. Okay, then the last thing you're going to need to do is download and install Joomla, and that is something that we're gonna cover in this video as well. So. First of all, let's take a look at how to download and install XAMPP. Okay, you're going to need to go over to the apachefriends.org um, website and you're going to find a link, uh, a download link to download XAMPP. You can go ahead and click on that and actually just download XAMPP. And if you guys want more details on the installation, I do have a video that covers that and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But once you're finished downloading and installing XAMPP, you should land up with a program that looks kind of like this. And one thing we're gonna need to do is start our Apache server and then also start our MySQL server. If you have a problem with Apache not wanting to start, it's probably because you have Skype open and Skype blocks one of the ports that you will need. So uh, if you have that issue that Apache isn't starting, then you can go ahead and close Skype or you can go ahead and open Skype and then go to Tools, Options and uh, Advanced Connection and you might want to just untick this box because by default when you install Skype that box comes ticked 
and it blocks port 80 and 443, which is pretty much the port that we need to run Apache. As you can see, we're using ports 80 and 443. So if you have a problem with this not starting, again, just go ahead and either close Skype or disable that setting in Skype. Okay, and you should be good to go. Now let's take a look at how to install Joomla. So you're going to go over to the Joomla website, which is joomla.org. I'm also going to leave it a link in the description below. You can go ahead and click on download. That's going to download a zip file. So once you finish downloading that, you should have a zip file like this somewhere on your computer. I don't know where you saved it. Whenever you chose to save it when you downloaded it, that's where it's going to be. Then you can go ahead and right click on that and say extract files, but you want to extract them to a specific location on your computer. Okay, and that location is actually going to be uh, probably local disk C or wherever you installed XAMPP. Okay, you're going to have to look for this folder here called XAMPP and then open that and inside of a folder called htdocs, that is where you're going to install uh, your version of Joomla. Now I'm actually going to create a new folder over here so let's go new folder and I'm going to give this folder a name so we'll just call it uh, Joomla 3.3 and I think I'm going to not have a space in the folder name so Joomla underscore 3.3 okay and now this is going to extract all of the files in this uh, zip file to that folder. Okay, so we'll just give this a couple seconds to run. And that should be done. I don't know <laughs> why I got sort of like that error sound. I don't know if you guys could hear that. Probably not. But once that zip is done, or once you've unzipped those files, you can then uh, make sure that you're running Apache. So just make sure that that's started and go over to localhost and then type in the name of the folder that you created so I called my folder Joomla underscore 3.3 okay let's visit that and you can see it takes me over to uh, Joomla 3.3 slash installation so here is where I'm going to install Joomla and you can see that it's actually asking me for a bunch of different settings or a uh, bunch of different information rather. Okay, so let's give my site a name. We'll just say Joomla test. You could call it anything you wanted. Um, let's go ahead and give a description of our site. Testing Joomla install for tutorial. Okay, we're gonna have to give an email address over here. So uh, you can put in whatever email address you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and enter what.quinton at gmail.com and uh, that is my email address but I almost never respond to anyone's emails so <laughs> if you guys are going to email me just know that I, I might not respond. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and give our website a password and this is a password that we're going to need to log into our site um, or into the back end of our website every time we want to modify something in Joomla. And I'm going to go ahead and just make a password of password and we'll confirm the password as password. Okay, site offline we can leave as no for now. If you really want uh, to put your site as uh, offline then you can go ahead and say yes. All it does is make it that nobody else can see the site unless they're trying to log in with uh, admin details. Okay, let's go ahead and click next. And now I need to set up a database connection. Okay, so that is uh, one reason why we might have our SQL running over here. And we're gonna have to create a database. So it just so happens that whenever you download and install XAMPP right from the start, then um, by default you have a user which is called root and you have a password which is blank so if you leave your password blank and you're using the username root 
then this should actually be able to connect to the database just fine. Okay, and now you can go ahead and just give your database a name. So I'm going to say Joomla underscore uh, tutorials. Okay, and old database process. Well, I don't actually have an old database called Joomla tutorials, so it doesn't really matter if I click backup or remove nothing's going to happen anyway because I don't have an old database um, but you might want to just if you're trying to install over your old database you might want to remove that or if you really want to back it up um, uh, that choice is up to you let's go ahead and click next and the last thing is just uh, do we want any sample data when we install um, Joomla so in other words uh, do we want there to be content showing on the front end of our website by default or not? And I'm going to go ahead and choose default English just so that we can see that there's actually some sort of a website going on even if it is uh, just random Joomla information. So I'm just go ahead and click default English if you want your website to be the same as mine. Email configuration, we'll just leave that. And the rest of the stuff, this is all um, Joomla defaults and we can leave them as they are. Okay, go ahead and click install and this is going to run for a few minutes but once it's done Joomla should be installed. So I'm going to let this run and I'll get back to you once it's done. Okay, so my installation is now done and I can go ahead and click on remove installation folder. Okay, and here's a um, situation or here's actually a point where you guys might actually have a little bit of a problem because sometimes with XAMPP you might not uh, be able to complete this installation it'll just keep loading and loading forever and um, if it takes longer than 10 minutes or you know 15 minutes then I'd say you really need to try take a look at this problem or the solution that I'm going to show you so I've got a link that I'm going to leave in the description below and uh, this link is basically just a link to uh, Joomla forum and uh, if you if you visit the page you're actually going to start from up here at the top but the solution to the problem is actually all the way down here where someone tells you you need to look for these two lines of code okay so what you actually have to do is go over to your computer okay local disk C go to your XAMPP folder and hit control F search for PHP dot INI and then go ahead and open that up okay that should actually open up a text document and if I just resize this so we can see a little bit better if I hit control F over here and search for max execution okay that is uh, what they asked us to do here in the form search for max execution so going to search for that I can see that max execution is set to 3000 which is actually exactly what he said we need to set it to in the forum so max execution time 3000 and we also need to search for memory limits so let's go ahead and search for that memory go ahead and say next and there we go we've got maximum memory script is uh, set to 128 there it is there okay so uh, this is probably gonna be like this by default the memory limit but my execution time uh, which was actually only a few lines above um, I had to actually change that to 3000 and then my installation would work before my PHP or my J Joomla installation wouldn't work uh, when I had this uh, at its default value okay after that you're gonna wanna go ahead and save the changes that you made and close that and hopefully you should be done with your PHP INI file. Okay, so that's just a little problem that you guys might have picked up while following this tutorial. Hopefully you didn't, but if you did, uh, just make sure that you restart um, Apache. So in other words, you're gonna have to click stop and start and then actually restart your installation from the beginning again, if that problem did happen to you, okay? Uh, but if that problem didn't happen, then you should be able to go ahead and remove all of this and go back to just localhost and whatever you call your folder. Go ahead and hit enter 
and that is going to take you to your awesome website. So as you can see, this is actually the website that we just made. It's uh, just the standard Joomla um, or the default Joomla website once you have finished installing Joomla. Okay, and you can see that we've got our big heading over here. We've got a navigation, a uh, little banner image, um, and an aside with some content over here as well. Okay, and if I go ahead and type in Joomla slash administrator, so go ahead and type in localhost, the folder that you uh, created, and then administrator and that is going to take you to the back end of your website so here we can log into Joomla and these will be with the details uh, that you supplied uh, whenever setting up Joomla which I think I actually put in my email address which was what.quinton at gmail.com and my password which is a password I think okay and then I can log in to Joomla so take a look at that and this is the back end of Joomla uh, this is where we're going to be spending the next few tutorials just learning how to use Joomla and also just taking a look at what we can do with Joomla and that's all I have for you in this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share this video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time